Hello and welcome to my Maxwell High Jump Build Guide video. Alright, so in this video we're going to be showcasing a way of playing with Maxwell. Um, that actually sounds very strange, that's the, the wording on that. But anyways, we're going to be showcasing a way to run Maxwell where he basically will spam high jump as much as humanly possible and he'll also be extremely tanky. So the things we're going to be using are basic attacks and AoE fire stones or AoE stones in general like magical stones to trigger two, two birds one stone. Uh, we're also going to be using a battery. Uh, so the idea is we want to get him to 5 TP as fast as humanly possible and then keep resetting his TP so he can keep spamming high jump. And I am going to show a pretty sick combo with him but for items if you want, so you can put a res earring on him so he has two resurrections. The res earring triggers first, and then his other res will trigger after, effectively giving him three lives. Uh, endurance earring, if you have it, is really good on him because he can stay... So what it does is when you're below 50% HP or at 50% HP, you take half damage. So combine that with three lives, and now he's like extremely tanky. So yeah, and I'll, we're also running Gila, so you can put a fourth res on him. So now he's basically invincible. Uh, it's very unlikely enemies will be able to kill him, given all that res. Now, I, I know some people like to say, like, Maxwell is S-tier because of his res, but you could put res earring, endurance earring, and Nagila res on any unit, and they would also have three lives instead of four. So, he just has, a like, the fourth life. So, it's like, eh, it, it's still, he, he's still good, and his built-in res is good, but... This, this like, Gila res plus this combo would work on any unit and it would make anything, like, way more durable. So, it's easier just to do it with him because he already has a built-in res. But with four reses, or with three reses on him, it's hard to say that he would even die, to be honest. So, like, he should be able to clean up enemies by the time he would die. So, he basically becomes a tank in this way, a res tank. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're just going to pass. Uh, he has he has three lives. I don't care if an enemy hits him. It doesn't matter. I, I doubt they'll kill him anyways. So you want enemies to ball up. I'm going to have him get Julioed, which is <laughs> a dumb way of saying get batteried. Uh, we'll Dragon Shield. We can Dragon Shield. Actually, let's do this. Let's have him move in here. Just Dragon Shield a bunch of things. Just to waste enemy resources. Yeah, because really what we want is for enemies to ball up. And then for him to spam high jump. And the upside of his build, because he can res twice and he gets half damage when he's below half, up to three times, because he like up in, in three different life packets, we'll call it. He can be extremely tanky and go in deep while also being relatively safe because of all the res spam. So what we're gonna do. We'll, we'll put some damage on some things. Like, we'll, we'll we'll try to play as if we were playing normally. This is like a mental mock battle. But, alright, so... First thing you can do with Julio, give him a damage boost. Give Maxwell a damage boost. And then once it's Maxwell's turn, he can high jump. Because he'll regen one more TP. So let's actually look at the turn order. Uh, because we were running Medina, we might as well just get this going. Fast acting medication. Okay, let's see. I don't think... Alright, here we go. We could probably do it over here. Okay, so here's the first high jump. Uh, one thing you can do if you want to nuke things. So, let's use Critical Blow. This guarantees him crits. So, if there's a bunch of enemies and you use high jump on them with guaranteed crits, it's pretty crazy. So, let's use this on these. So, guaranteed crits. Did quite a bit of damage to both of them. Uh, and then if you want him to high jump again, one thing you can do, no matter whose turn it is, is you can just battle cry him. And then in tandem him. Now obviously this is a very QP intense strategy where I'm like burning through a lot of quietus points. Uh, but this gets him another high jump immediately. So depending on what's going on, if there's if there's like five to like seven or even eight enemies that he can hit, this is insane damage, uh, but obviously this would be safer to do on, like, Corintin to some degree. Um, I mean, maybe, because Corintin can Glacial Moon at range, so you can just, like, Glacial Moon spam, similar to how you're just, like, high jump spamming. But the difference is, 
Uh, Maxwell can also tank with all these ridiculous items and his built-in res, so he has like three lives and tanking below half HP. Uh, so let's endless speech these guys now. Sleep in silence. You'll love to see it. Let's get Gila out of there. She can use haste on Maxwell. Because this, this is a Maxwell video, so we're just going to be dumping everything into Maxwell. We're going to make him look as good as humanly possible. And he's going to get all the big jumps off. Because he is a cool guy. Alright. <laughs> he, he is a swell feller. Alright. Let's get this guy nuked. So high jump can deal good damage. You just have to dump a lot of resources into it. All right, let's have uh, let's have Ice Man over here. Probably just kill this guy and just chill out. Let's kill him. Actually, if he can kill with this, it's better. Yeah, that's better. So then he can actually let's do this. Optimal Ice Man usage. Make ice tiles. End your turn on an ice tile. That is how you play the unit. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna, it's going to be Maxwell's turn soon. Unfortunately, I don't think a battery goes next, though. He needs to get he needs to catch a battery right now. Alright, so here is... Alright, so you've burned through some quietest points. You're out of high jumps, or so it steams. So how do you get more TP? Uh, the easiest way to do that is to either attack... Uh, oh, wait. Can we not even hit these? Oh, that sucks. I can't hit, I can't get in range. That's unfortunate. I can traverse, but then it'll pay, I'll pay a TP to get in range. That's counterintuitive. Um, so what we can do anyways, because we're out of range, we can just throw with Firestone. It's fine. Uh, but you can throw AOE stones to trigger two birds, one stone to build up his TP faster. Uh, luckily for us, though, Julio can just give him TP, so that's fine. And then we'll just move our tank over. Do standard stuff. So with batteries, I would say high jump spam is good. It's not as damaging as Corintin just spl uh, spamming Glacial Moon, but it does. You do get the upside of having a tanky melee unit that has like reses, and with the with the uh, endurance earring, it's quite ridiculous. But this is like putting res earring and endurance earring on any unit, even like you know Eridor, um, Roland, Serenoa. Like it's gonna make them ridiculous. Like it does Avlora especially. Because Avalora takes half damage below 50%, so when she has Endurance Earring, she takes quarter damage, plus a Res Earring, she'd be insane. Probably even better than Maxwell, because she has Bloody Cross, which is a little bit more spammable. Uh, but, alright, we're just going to pass with him. Okay, so we want to reset. Here's what we want to do. We want to Inheritor. Inheritor or finish him, in this case, doesn't matter, because he'll regen one. And, you, and he'll have to pay 3 to give 3, or pay 3 to give 2. So either way, he's going to be at 5. Uh, Maxwell's going to be at 5. And then what we can do is we can fast acting medication him. And now we have another high jump. Alright, so might as well move here. Doesn't really matter. High jump these. So you can kind of play with the positioning a bit. So like depending on what you want to expose yourself to. Uh, so even though he's tanky, your, your most optimal use of this is to keep him safe because if you keep him safe and he's tanky he should live forever but if i go like if i do something like this it's like okay now i can get counterattacked by a bunch of units but if i do something like this i still get the damage off but my positioning is just good so you can essentially have him live for a very long time with just good positioning all right we gotta move lionel in here lionel trains i'm a huge fan he's actually insanely good <laughs> Like, I know, I know, like, some people meme on him to some degree. Or, like, maybe they undervalue him, but he's insane. And then, uh, we got Saranoa. Actually, Saranoa can't die, and I just realized he's just, like, sitting here. I don't even think he has res earring. He's just, like, sitting there with no buffs on him at all, just, like, in a bunch of enemies. I, sh I should have moved him at the start of this, but this is a video. This isn't about him. Not everything is about Saranoa and his stupid scales. And he has to learn that the hard way. Alright, here we go. We got... Frederica. So with like AoE mages, high jump is quite good because like between the mages and Maxwell, you can put really good damage on things and just nuke everything. Now high jump generally will be less damaging than a mage and also the the, the high cost of 5 TP can make it not as good as just like current and spamming or Frederica spamming. 
but the upside of it is that you also get like either an off tank or an actual tank because Maxwell, like they're, they kind of ignore him in some cases. Like you can see here, the enemies are just like going for Corentin. Enemies love to attack Corentin, so if you just put tank on him, he's he's quite ridiculous. Um, all right, let's kill this guy. Enemies love to attack Corentin, though. Let me make sure he won't die. All right, he should be fine. His, his stats, like his defensive stats, are terrible. So like, if you have a unit like that and you put like tank on him and enemies keep attacking him, Maxwell should theoretically almost live forever. Um, we can also, we can throw. I think he already is. No, he's not buffed. All right, we'll throw this on Maxwell. We'll throw a buff on him. We'll make him a raging beast, which seems like a good idea. Okay, so in this case, we should be able to hit both of these. So this becomes a decent way. Yeah, you can see I can hit both of them. So I can contribute to chip damage. So let's throw the stone. So that put a good, that actually puts some decent damage. Like so, so the big upside of this build is Maxwell is tanky. You always have AOE damage every turn, but you do have to pay for it because these fire stones are 1.2k. But this is assuming new game plus, um, where like this is where this would be viable anyways. Like on your first playthrough. I don't think you're going to be able to get off high jump spam because you're going to need Medina and Julio to like TP battery. Uh, but Medina, like Medina can be expensive to battery and she usually also wants to battery her team. So you can have Maxwell hang back, jump out and then come back to get battery. That could be a good way of using him. Uh, in this case, I'm going more for offense instead of like buffing my whole team. So that's what's been going on there. All right, we're going to have Eridor do Eridor things. But you can throw fire stones, like, like any large AoE stone, for chip damage and also to help build his TP back up. And then you can see here, as soon as I moment of truth him, he is ready to high jump again. So this build actually is quite good and he essentially becomes a tanky nuker, which is really good. Like it's it's actually quite strong. So he could, he could be used in this capacity. And then you can keep like in tandem, like using in, uh, you can use in tandem, you can use now, you can use fast acting medication. And like once he's ready to go, he just needs his turn order set up and then he's good to nuke another day. All right, so we will just go over here. Actually, let's do this. Let's ruffle. We'll make use of ruffle feathers because it's hilarious. And then try to move things away from him so only he gets attacked. I just need to make some space for Serenoa, though. I'm going to try to body block this enemy so he can't easily get to Lionel, who he wants to attack. <laughs> so, like, that's the that's the big meme with Lionel. That's why I put him in S tier, because you fury things and body block them, and then they can't attack. They can't hit him, so then they'll do nothing. Which is... It shuts them down, so... You can't go wrong. Alright, let's do... Might as well create some more ice tiles, right? Like this or something. Doesn't matter. We'll just get one more big jump off. Alright, so she can Blazing Chains him for lethal. Or set this guy up. Alright, they're starting... I like that they're all... See, this This is why Eridor is good. Because just putting a unit out for enemies to attack. Especially one that's invincible. Passively causes them to ball up. Which is exactly what you want. Uh, so in this situation, uh, this dude's pretty much dead, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to move Gila and then have her do something unheard of, deal damage. Throw some chip on that. Your your utilities can just firestone things to death, or, you know, whatever stone you want. If you check for weaknesses, that can be good, too. Um, Alright, so Benedict, same thing. Now just one, one more utility needs to smack him. Alright, here we go, the Dawn Spear. The final high jump. So you can see here it is quite good. I think I can, okay. I could probably, this is probably safer. Let me see if I can go there. Just like move. Let's see, what's a better position? That gets me hit by a mage. This is fine. He has three lives and tank, so he should be fine here. And then Eridor. I finally got that provoke one cost. He can fury some things. He's not invincible anymore and he's body blocked, so he might need light waved out or something. 
And then we got Julio over here. I'm going to have him rotate, kill this, get extra TP, and then he's going to feed Maxwell. And then Maxwell will get another high jump. So optimal use of Julio, Medina, and Maxwell, and then just getting like AoEs off on Maxwell can get you your high jump spam. And he, he does become like a second tank with the build I showed. And even if you don't have Endurance Earring, just putting Res Earring and like damage boost or defense boost or health boost, whatever you want is the second item. Just Res Earring. Res Earring and then this can be anything, it doesn't matter. But with Endurance Earring it's quite ridiculous. Uh, so yeah, that's it for the Maxwell high jump build. Uh, this is... I don't know if it's... It's potentially S tier build, to be honest. Like, after, like the more I run this, because he's tanky and he does good damage. Um, it's good AoE. So it actually could it actually could be an argument for him being S tier, to be honest. This particular build. Uh, using him, like, otherwise, like, when you're not spamming high jump, if you're just, like, using, like, run through or, like, triple thrust. Like, triple thrust on, like, on back attacks is quite strong and can put enemies... It can deal like 35 to 50% damage to basic enemies that aren't extremely melee tanky. So like average enemies. So it can be pretty good for just single target nuking. Uh, run through is decent if you use it behind enemies. Um, traverse I'm not a huge fan of because it just burns through your TP. And what I would like to do with him is save TP for high jumping. Uh, two birds one stone is a good ability. But it I, like the way I think his kit is designed to be honest is you just want to spam aoe stones or just stab two enemies at a time to build tp and then just spam high jump and then like lance hurl it's like why bother like sure you can trigger follow-up attacks with it but i would rather just be dealing big aoe damage the whole time and it seems like as long as you play around like with your batteries correctly he can high jump very frequently and potentially every turn so it is it is like this is a good build um at least not if every turn, every other turn. So yeah, that's it for this one. If you like this video, definitely like and subscribe. I'm going to be doing more build videos as well as finishing up all the quietest guides. I'm still going to be doing the uh, hard mode fresh save playthrough where I do a tutorial or guide for each map on how to easily beat it and just go over map tactics and units that are good on the map, assuming a new file. So you're not going to have access to like Time Child, for example, because on a new save, on your first playthrough, I don't even think you can unlock him unless you know exactly which things to, to do to get 1600 in his attribute he needs. Uh, but we're going to be just going through the units you get as you would get them normally. And yeah, that's it for this one. Thanks for checking this out. Definitely leave a comment as to what you do with Maxwell, what strategies you run. I think this two birds, one stone, like large magical stone spam plus battery high jump spam is actually quite good. And with the three res, uh, he essentially becomes like an AOE nuker tank, which is pretty useful, actually. Uh, because you could probably get rid of Eridor and just run him. And if you put Gila res on him, he has, he has three reses. So quite insane. But yeah, that's it for this. Thanks for checking this out. And I'll see you in the next video.